Well guys, in case you're wondering, that is not the normal shape of my wrist. Well hey everybody, so the plan was to come out here and just hang my hammock, no bushcrafting, just relax and have a good time. And uh, that Hyper D hammock ripped in half on me, got the tiniest hole in it and it uh, I didn't see the hole and it ripped in half on me. So right now I'm not a fan of Hyper D, not my favorite material, makes a lightweight hammock but it's probably only good if you're the type of person who stays on trails and goes to designated campgrounds and campsites. Not for me. So we're building a bush bed because now we have to. But uh, no big deal. We'll get it done. We'll have a nice night. It's starting to swell pretty good on these last two knuckles and swell pretty good down there too. I think I might have cracked that Give myself like a boxer's fracture, ironically, out here in the woods. Wouldn't that be some funny shit? But uh, I tell you what, it's made it real difficult doing all this bushcrafting. All right, everybody. Here's tonight's bed, and it's uh, it might not look like a super comfortable thing to you, but I'm here to tell you it's pretty nice. And again, not a single living tree harmed in the making of this bed. All that browse was collected from the forest floor, and that's how you should do it if you boys want to bushcraft now. In my state, it's not even legal to go whacking up green trees. So there we are. And uh, I'm going to throw a tarp over that tonight. I'm tempted to not even do that. I might just sleep out under the stars. I don't know. We'll see what the, uh, see what the clouds look like at the end of the day. Alright guys. Just getting a little water on the boil. Got a simple pot hanger carved with a little green stick I found. Just got a small fire going just to get a little water boiled. Gonna have some noodles and relax a while because everything is all set and it's getting kind of late. Having kind of a late lunch, early dinner. Enjoying the day. Oh, it's bright over there with all that snow and sun. Just gonna enjoy a little hot cup of soup and uh, relax a while on my bed slash bench. Been a lot of uh, people talking about fire kits lately. You can't really see because that's such a bright piece of tin foil. But there's my fire kit. A little chunk like that lasts me, oh I don't know, three or four months. You get quite a few fires out of a little chunk like that. I use that and uh, either my Nathan 4071 fire rod or I use these guys. Waterproof matches. Available at ShastaValleyOutfitters.com Little plug, little plug. But these guys are great, seriously folks. It's the old Kuglins. Everybody remembers Kuglins. Alright guys, so this is going to be home sweet home tonight. I got, uh, got my bush bed built. And... Got myself a nice little nightstand set up. I'm ready to go. This is actually probably going to be way more comfortable than my hammock. Some of you might be thinking, you're crazy Travis, no way, but... Tell you what, try it out. Hard to beat a well but the hard to beat a well-built bush bed. It's really it's a lot like a spring mattress. Show you guys where I'm at here. Just off in the trees, kind of in the middle of nowhere. Nowhere particular. The noise you're hearing is the creek. 
it's about oh, 30 40 yards that way a little closer to the creek than I usually camp but the idea was I was gonna be lazy today and not do much so I didn't want to walk far from my water and I did kind of want to listen to the creek sometimes it can get old honestly if you camp too close to the creek it could be real loud but I'm uh, enjoying my little spot here this right here is uh, perfect for an impromptu shelter if you are in a really bad situation and you are overconfident and under carrying what you have here is the tree root let go and the trees falling most people have heard about this this is something you get taught in school or told in hunter safety or boy scouts or something like that and what you've got here is a, you're already dug out to where you're below the ground and you definitely have to get up in here and get some of these head crushers off of this root right there'd be some obvious things you'd have to take care of but you'd have a ready to go wind wall and you'd be down below frost line in this ground and you could set yourself up a nice browse bed in that up against that and dig out over here and build yourself a fire below you'd have to dig all this forest loam back way back so that you wouldn't start a fire and then dig yourself down into right here a nice little pit and make a fire in there to push the heat in on you and you would be good to go you could survive a lot right up against something like this and it's 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 big and deep it's that's a hole I could lay in there no problem no problem and it's about it's about a foot and a half two feet deep at the base so that's a good little spot just something I know a lot of survival videos and stuff show fancy shelters built out of situations like this and stuff but this right here will do you just fine in a pinch. Providing you take care of, you know, safety precautions. And yeah, I took a pretty good fall earlier, guys, and I've been doing this whole trip one-handed because... Such a pretty evening. Found a little flat spot up here I should have camped in. It's even better than where I'm camped. It's actually about 10 degrees warmer up here than it is down there too. But bed's built. It's still pretty warm down there. What a beast. That right there is about as, if I wrapped my arms around it, I'd, my hands would probably go from here to about here. That's my nightstand. Got my bug spray, my lamps. Got my my. This is the uh, Victor camera. Gonna keep it by the bed tonight in case I hear something. I might want to get the light on, get the camera on real quick. That's my new backpack. Yeah, I've got an ultralight, guys. No, <laughs> actually, I've always carried such minimal equipment that an ultralight backpack actually fits me perfectly. I've not gone ultralight. I'm no gram weenie, as my buddy says. There's my poles. Those Tac Niner poles are still kicking butt. And they saved my butt a few times on this trip. Really like those poles, man. But uh, this has been a good trip. Uh, to 
prove the virtues of learning some bushcraft because the reason I had to build this bed is because my hammock blew out and uh, otherwise I was going to be sleeping on the ground and it's pretty wet and there are bugs are crawling they'll probably go to bed when it, night time comes because it's uh, going to get pretty cold in here tonight probably not below freezing I wouldn't think I wouldn't even think it's going to get to freezing but it might with as much snow as right around me and uh, just wouldn't wouldn't be the most comfortable area to sleep flat on the ground. It'd be pretty hard to get yourself an area. And I do have a mat with me, but even with that little foam mat, it wouldn't be wouldn't be very nice. Got a new mat. Gonna try it out tonight. As Mr. Kahansky says, if you have yourself a foam mat on one of these bush beds, you will be living in the lap of luxury. So I, I should sleep better than at home in bed tonight. Anyway guys, thanks for watching. Might do some more video in later, but uh, it's starting to get pretty dark fast. Probably won't hear from me until the morning. Morning everybody. It's uh, a little after seven o'clock and I am just trying to get around, and get my butt out of bed. But uh, this bed was pretty comfortable and I slept pretty hard so not exactly wanting to get up this morning. Ugh. The sun's out. And I need to get up. Do my thing. Take care of my morning business. Ugh. Get packed up. <clears throat> In a little while, i have some breakfast. Bed worked out good, though. Man, I slept like a... Slipped like a, a rock. Bed worked really good, guys. There's the morning view out there. Oh, it's pretty this morning. I woke up about 6.30, rolled over and went back to sleep. It's still too cold out. Well guys, I'm all wrapped up, ready to sweat. I'm going to tear down my bed, throw it all around, kind of spread the debris out, and uh, pack the rest of my stuff up, head home, see my little girls. So thank you for watching. Appreciate it. We'll see you guys next week. I will be posting the Mora Knife giveaway winner in the comment section down below. Look for the pinned comment and you will see if you won the Mora Knife last week. Alright, thanks guys.